What's up, YouTube? I've been something of a ghost around here lately. Anyway. This is just me checking in, kind of talking about a few things. I'm smoking a uh, Missouri Meerschaum Corn Kid. And in it, we've got some of this stuff. I picked up some Frog Morton. I've been smoking this a lot lately. This is actually pretty much all I've been smoking. This tin's almost done already. This is really good stuff. I heard a lot of good stuff about Frog Morton. Just hadn't gotten around to trying it yet. I was really surprised at how mild it is. I mean, it's really, really full flavored. But it just, like, when I opened the tin and I saw all the really dark, dark strains of Latakia in there, I thought, God, this is going to be a total lat bomb. That's actually not the case at all. It's, um, it, al it almost tastes like a good Virginia with just a little bit of Latakia in it, not really a full, full blown English blend. But it's pretty good. I like it. It's um, it's real sweet, real earthy, and it's got just a little bit of tang to it from time to time. And then you get the the smokiness in the in the background. It's kind of underplayed. It's not it's not real strong. I like it. It's a really good smoke. Really nice and what what I would classify as an all day smoke for sure. I um I know I haven't been posting a lot lately. I um I just had so many things going on. Um one of the reasons I wanted to make this video and I, one of the things I wanted to talk about on the uh Pipes Magazine website, I know that there are now a couple of guys who are who are subscribed to me who read over there and po and post on the forums over there. I um was talking to Kevin Godby, the guy who runs the um, Pipes Magazine website, and he, um, I told him, I was like, you know, I, I think there's some stuff that I could c contribute to the site. Um, the site actually has a, a feature for all users to have an admin for a blog, but um, for most everybody, that feature is disabled. And uh, I talked to Kevin, and I was like, you know, I, I think that I may have some stuff to contribute. And I said, um, you know, if I if I send you some samples of some ideas that I have, do you think maybe we can we we could get a blog started? And he he emailed me back and he said, uh, yeah, you know, just uh, let me read some of the stuff you've got and and I'll get back to you. And I sent him off some samples and he came back maybe a, two or three days later. He said, you know, I I I really like what you're doing here. And he he went ahead and set me up with a blog. So um, I've made a couple of contributions to that. I'm gonna put a link to the blog down in the description down here. Um, I really urge all of you guys to check it out. If you guys are members of Pipes Magazine, um, if you guys want to read that stuff, uh, feel free to comment on it as well. Um, I've, that's been taking up quite a bit of my time lately. But um, it's it's been a lot of fun doing it. I, I did a big article about eBay pipe buying that's up there, and the other one was kind of a... Um, kind of an expose on like the younger generation of a pipe smokers guys that are you know my age like the 18 to 20 25 or so demographic who have gotten into pipe smoking over the last you know few years so um again i'll put the link down there i i urge everybody to check it out um there's going to be a lot more material added to than what's up there now um i'm thinking of maybe doing like a once weekly thing i've been posting the past couple of mondays so i'm thinking monday might just be blog day but um if you guys want to go and check it out, you know, that would that would be really cool, you know, kind of kind of support your fellow YouTuber kind of thing. Pipes going out. I really like this lighter that I've been using.
So I went to my local B and M the other day. I say local, it's about a forty minute drive. But I remember they had these uh, these lighters there, and I I knew they weren't selling them for very much. I've been looking to get a new lighter, and I picked up this little. It's it's made by Eternity, and there are several lighters like this. I know Lotus used to make a lighter like this, and uh, Calibri has something real similar. It's got a switch on the back for your for your pipe lighter, and then it's also got the jet torch thingy on there. But it's a nice lighter. I like it. So, um, anyway, like I said, just wanted to check in with everybody. You know, one of those things that reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. I'll do a little review of this Frog Morton here. This, this is really, really good. I'm almost all the way through this tin. I've only been working on it for like a week. I never finish a tin that quickly. But it's um really good flavor. Really, really more sweet than anything else. And just a bit of tang from the from the fermentation and maturing of the Virginias. Good dose of a lot of key in it. It's pretty good. I like it. Tastes really good in this cob. I don't. I got th two or three of these cobs. I don't really smoke them nearly as much as I probably should. So anyway, like I said, that's that's probably going to be it for now. Again, link to the Pipes Magazine blog. Um, hopefully, you guys will will check that out and let me know what you think of that. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I'll get around to start. Posting some more videos sometime in the near future. I again, I, I apologize for being as big a ghost as I am. I know I, uh, I know I'm woefully behind in watching and commenting on videos. I want to deeply, deeply, deeply apologize for all the people that I haven't gotten gotten back to and all the videos that I've missed out on. Or I still watch some of them. I don't comment on on as many of them as I should. Hopefully when the holiday season passes, I'll get around to that and get, get around to, put, to commenting on more videos, and hopefully I'll be posting some more videos. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for me for now. Um, I have a couple of more ideas of some videos that I want to do. You guys will... You guys might see a little bit more of me before the holiday season. If you don't, I guarantee you, you will see me more after the holiday season is over. So, you know, to to anybody that, that I've let down by not posting, um, I'm really sorry. Between work and, like I said, I've done this Pipes Magazine blog thing and a couple other projects I've been working on. Um, so, anyway... Again, I'm I'm sorry that I haven't been posting more, and I apologize that I haven't gotten around to as many videos as I should. Hopefully, hopefully I'll start getting back in the swing of that. But I'm um, I'm gonna sit here and finish this corn cob, and uh, we'll see everybody later.